वेलकम टू हैप्पी पिक्स टूरिज्म यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल विजिट सेंट मयास आइलैंड्स सेंट मयास आइलैंड्स कंप्राइज ऑफ फोर स्मॉल आइलैंड्स इन द अरेबियन सी ऑफ मल्पे बीच इन उडुपी ओल्ड टेल्स शोस दैट वास्को डी गामा द पोर्चुगीज एक्सप्लोरर लैंडेड एट वन ऑफ दीज आइलैंड्स आफ्टर हिज एक्सपीडिशन इन 1498 He named this island O Padrão de Santa Maria as a dedication to Mother Mary. The current name is believed to have derived from this name. These are just off the coast of Malpe in Udupi, Karnataka, 15 to 20 minutes by boat from the shore. Prominent among them is the large isle with tons of coconut trees. This set of trees gives this land the name Coconut Island. It is also called Tosaper in the local language the other three islands are generally not visited and are named north island south island and darya bahadurgarh island the islands are filled with numerous basalt volcanic rocks that have been termed columnar joints or laminar lava these rocks are one of their kind in india only found on saint maria's island malpe scientifically The Saint Marias Island was a result of a breakaway from Madagascar due to a subvolcanic activity. The same volcanic activity resulted in lava flowing out to create the very rocks that have made this Udupi island a popular geotourist destination. Saint Marias Islands are predominantly known for the columnar basalt rock formation and lava rocks which are spread across the islands in abundance. These one off Its kind islands are important geological sites and hence are names as National Geological Monument in 2001 by the Geological Survey of India. The western coasts of the islands are a seashell heaven with seashells of various shapes and sizes littered along the coast. There is no sand beach to swim and relax since it is scattered with basaltic rocks. The beach has security guards who ensure that visitors do not venture into danger zones of the islands Saint Maria's Islands are heaven for photographers There are ample places for a nice shot be it with the sea in the background or the rock formations The island is deserted but for the rock formations and occasional seats near the shore Visitors have to carry their own food and other necessary items To preserve the island in its natural form there are no shops or hotel available in the vicinity The best way to get to Saint Maria's Island is to first get to Udupi The nearest airport to Udupi is in Mangalore just 55 kilometers away From Mangalore you can either get into a bus a train or even hire a cab straight for Udupi The frequency of public buses is very good There is one almost every 30 minutes. Once in Udupi, you can hire a local auto or get into the bus for Malpe Beach. You will find regular ferries to Saint Maria's Island between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. every day, except between the months of June to September, i. e. monsoons. During these four months, the island is closed for public. We hope. You found this information useful and interesting. Do like, share video, also subscribe to our channel. Till then, have good day. Take care. Stay safe.